Saint Anthony of Egypt. Patron of animals, particularly domestic animals, cattle, and butchers. Saint Anthony of Egypt. Also called Saint Anthony the Great, Anthony of the Fire, and Anthony of the Desert, was a religious hermit, and one of the earliest Desert Fathers. He was considered the founder and father of organized Christian monasticism. His rule, Book of Observances, represented one of the first attempts to codify guidelines for monastic living. Saint Anthony was born in Egypt in the 3rd century. His parents were of good family and possessed considerable wealth. As a child, he was very humble and used to attend the Lord's house with his family. After the death of his parents, Saint Anthony reflected how the Apostle Matthew left all and followed the Savior. Pondering over these things, he heard the gospel being read in the church, Jesus saying to the rich man Matthew, If you want to be perfect, go and sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Saint Anthony went out immediately from the church and gave all his possessions to the villagers and to the poor. At the age of 20, Saint Anthony began his ascetic life, and after 15 years, he withdrew for absolute solitude to a mountain by the Nile called Pisper. His time as a hermit is marked by sacrifice austerity, and solitude. During the course of this retreat, he began his legendary combat against the devil. According to Saint Athanasius, the Bishop of Alexandria, the devil's assault on Anthony took the form of visions, either seductive or horrible, experienced by the saint. For example, at times the devil appeared in the guise of a monk bringing bread during his fasts, or in the form of wild beasts, women, or soldiers, beating the saint and leaving him in a deathly state. Sometimes they came in the form of whispers about the remembrance of his wealth, love of glory and money, and the other relaxations of life. Saint Anthony endured many such attacks and they were repelled by Anthony's prayer and penitential acts. In the year 305, he emerged from his retreat to instruct and organize the monastic life of the hermits who imitated him. His efforts created the first monastic community of hermits living separately, yet gathering for prayer. The early monks who followed Anthony into the desert, considered themselves the vanguard of God's army. When Christian persecution ended after the Edict of Milan, he moved to a mountain in the eastern desert. There he remained, receiving visitors and, on occasion, crossing the desert to Pisper. He ventured twice to Alexandria, the last time to preach against Arianism. In iconography of the saint, there will be often seen a pig, a bell or a black robe, which are all associated with the Order of Hospitallers of Saint Anthony, founded in France long after Anthony's death. The Hospitallers of Saint Anthony, commonly seen in Europe, were wearing black robes and ringing small bells for alms. Their pigs, 
which were raised to support their ministry, were often allowed to roam freely in towns. This institution became a pilgrimage center for treating persons suffering from ergotism, the disease known as Saint Anthony's Fire. So many of the symbols of this saint are more connected to those who were inspired by his steadfast devotion and took up great works of service. I saw the snares that the enemy spreads out over the world, and I said groaning, what can get through from such snares? Then I heard a voice saying to me, humility. <laughs>